In this video, we're going to talk about the first law of thermodynamics. So the first law of thermodynamics states that the change in internal energy is equal to the heat plus the work. So this here is the change in internal energy. So this includes the energy due to the motion of the gas, so different types of kinetic energy. So you can have kinetic energy like translational, like x, y, and z, like we learned about in topic 5. We can have rotational kinetic energy like we learned about in topic 8, and we can also have vibrations or scissoring of different bonds. And we can also talk about, inside of internal energy, the stored energy and bonds. This does not include gravitational potential energy, so we're not going to talk about whether the gas is on the table versus the gas sitting on the floor. So this does not include gravitational potential energy. And I want you guys to focus in on the word change in. We don't know the initial internal energy. We don't know the final internal energy. All we can do is find out the difference between those two states due to being able to calculate information about what we call state variables of the gas. So things like temperature, pressure, and volume. So we can either find the internal energy through the temperature which I'm going to show you guys in a second, or by being able to calculate the amount of work done on the gas or the amount of heat of the gas based upon the transfer of thermal energy. So keep that in mind. These are all process variables where you know something about what happens between initial and final, but you don't actually know what was happening at initial and what was actually happening at final. So remember, work and heat are also process variables because work is the change in mechanical energy and heat here is the change in thermal energy So we can use our state variables like temperature, pressure, and volume to figure out what is going on with our process variables, so the change in energy variables like work, heat, and change in internal energy. All right, so let's learn how to calculate the change in internal energy. We're going to calculate the change in internal energy using the relationship the change in internal energy equals number of whole moles times the molar specific heat of constant volume times the change in temperature. All right, so number of moles, let's talk about molar specific heat at constant volume. This is very similar to the specific heat that we learned about in the prior topic, only it's in slightly different units. So this is going to be molar specific heat at constant volume. And this is going to equal 3 halves times R if it is a monatomic gas. And R here is the ideal gas constant you learned back in topic 10. And it is going to equal 5 halves times the ideal gas constant if it is diatomic. And the difference between the 3 and the 5 is based upon the different types of kinetic energy that the gas can have. All right, because this is a change in temperature, it can be degrees Celsius or Kelvin, as long as they're both the same. Because remember, the difference between the two of them is always the same as long as they're both in the same units. So if you do a change in temperature in Celsius 
and you convert the units to Kelvin and do the same subtraction, you're going to get the same number.